Hi, first of all, I just want to thank everybody for the opportunity to stand in front of you and speak. I was very nervous for a while since the moment I chose to do this. And there's some people that I know that maybe don't even know me, but I managed to walk those, the restaurant for about five years. So I'm honored to see some recognizable faces. Soul City Crew, standing for transformation of mind, body, and soul. A lot of you probably recognize the circle. Why, how, what, by science, isn't it? Uh, my vision is to serve at the highest level through health, fitness, and community. You might recognize some of the faces here. Uh, Coach Bishop and I, about a year ago, it's almost been a year, we are fitness enthusiasts, and one day he said, I really see you being a powerful coach, powerful leader. And I said, I'm working at Vatos, so I don't have time. And he said, no, but there's something special in you. When you speak to people, when you coach people, you really touch them. And so the moment that I decided to switch industries, he came to me and said, let's start our group. And it was supposed to be a volunteer-led group, but it expanded so quickly that we decided to turn it into a nonprofit business, or a business. And these are people from different countries, but they all live in Korea. That's Coach Bishop, bodybuilder. That's me, and that's Hojun. Uh, just a bit about my background, so you understand why I'm so passionate about Korea and about transformation. My grandparents were uh, freedom fighters for South Korea, So um, I have that blood in me to kind of fight for nations and for change and for what is right. My father was the main man in charge of changing all of our natural gas or our buses into natural gas for the World Cup so that pollution was decreased significantly. And my personal background is I swim, I do track and field, and Bikram yoga, and I'm a landmark education graduate, which is all about transformation, communication, and leadership. I'm an activist for a bajillion different organizations and nonprofits, and I'm very passionate about international marketing. Bishop, I really wish he was here so that you could feel his presence. <laughs> He's the largest human being I've ever met. He's a professional bodybuilder. He just won this year. He's a former football player, nutrition expert, model, bodybuilding coach. She does everything in Korean. My Korean is about 60 to 70%, so she takes care of all the Korean side, and she handles our Korean members. Does translating marketing event coordination. Uh, this is just one example of a workout. Uh, as I said, we started with me and Bishop. There's just two people, grew to six, grew to 10, and then now we have almost 3,000 members. And we did a poll just to find out for this pitch. They're from 30 different countries. And we held back our marketing because we got a bit overwhelmed with just three of us. And what value do we serve? So community building for expats. I mean, I am obsessed with community. Working at Bato's, I hired all the foreign staff and realized how much expats need community living in Korea. I'm passionate about lifestyle change. It's also language and culture exposure. You guys are talking about learning English. I really want to help Koreans feel very comfortable in learning English so that it's not a stressful educational experience. They are actually just naturally organically learning Korean, learning how the world works very organically. We are all powerful networkers and we're passionate about marketing. And I'm also very dedicated to corporate social responsibility. So no matter what business you run, no matter how much money you make, I want to stand for that each of our companies in Korea and all over the world are doing a lot of corporate social responsibility, giving back to the community. The more money we make, the more we want to give back. This is how we're going to generate money. And for time's sake, I want to skip to this very important slide. So these are some of the areas where we want to partner with. In 2019, Community building, Seoul Global Center, we are also a part of the incubation process. We want to work with Toastmasters Korea in the YouTube community. We want to work with Korean international universities. Stella Foundation is one of the most powerful organizations in Korea right now, working on su suicide prevention because Korea is the number one nation in suicides. And something I'm very passionate about, we're already working with them. And then here, so I'm running out of time. Um, lastly, this is an individual thing, and some members are part of marketing. We want to bring Korean businesses to other countries, such as bringing CoRail, StoryWay, and Korean products into India and other countries. Thank you very much for everybody's attention and time.
Any questions from our judges? So, in terms of scalability, how do how do you grow your business? What is your strategy to grow your business? Our power. At first, it was just Bishop and I, but we realized that even our community are very powerful social media marketers, very organically and naturally, and some people that's their expertise. So we want to grow quite organically using Facebook, Instagram, and sources like. This. You're definitely very passionate about a lot of things. <laughs> if you had to prioritize, if you had to say you were most passionate about something, mm -hmm. what would that be in one sentence, please? I am very passionate about transformation. And this can occur through events like this, where we talk about startups and business, or it can be through a workout that people come to and exercise at, or it may be a mental health thing. So my purpose is to use, utilize this community and kind of follow the energy of what is most influential at the time to bring positive change in each individual as much as possible. Can I say, um, revenue to page? Sure. So, okay. uh, like I said, to be completely direct with you, we started out just saying, hey, uh, the fitness community kind of fell apart recently. So why don't we bring that back? So we started as a volunteer base, and as our members grew and the demands grew, we realized that it can be operated as a business so that we can provide more for the people. So we landed our first sponsorship about two months ago. Uh, the backing company behind Bacos is actually called Urban Collective, and they have almost the exact same 